Anticipating a chaotic scene, security was beefed up at the vetting grounds even before the aspirants and their supporters arrived. The entry of the Asawasi MP, Muntaka Mubarak, and his contender, Masaudu Mubarak, led to a tense atmosphere. In less than 30 minutes, both aspirants had successfully gone through the vetting process. For the first time in many years, Muntaka will face a competition in the primaries. They say, uh, what do you call, elections are never over and it's over. But I can assure you that we are working very hard to make sure that we, I mean, this is just a minor challenge of our primaries. The main is the 2024 election. My prayer is that when it is over, we need to unite and make sure that we retain Aswansi in a very decisive way. We should make sure that we don't fracture Aswansi, because Aswansi is the heart of NDC in Asante region, and we must do everything to protect that. Masaudu, who missed the opportunity to contest the MP in the last elections, is confident of causing an upset. I believe that um, democracy has triumphed today. Um, what happened previously was undemocratic. Today, um, I have been able to have an incidence-free um, vetting. Um, if you look at what is happening, within the constituency, we are pained that um, there hasn't been much progress in terms of the human development element of development within the constituency. So overall, we are very, very much enthusiastic about our chances, and we believe that, inshallah, victory is assured. The division among NDC constituency executives in Asawasi appear to have deepened as some of the executives are in the camp of Masaudu, whilst others are in the camp of Muntaka. In Ejra, four people, including the constituency chairman, are contesting the incumbent MP, Bawa Brahma. Contest is good. If there's a contest, it gives you the opportunity to go around to assess your weaknesses and your strengths. And I've assessed my weaknesses, I've assessed my strengths, and I tell you, come 13 May 2023, I'm going to claim over a thousand votes and leave the rest for the four of them to share. At the end, all the 85 aspirants voted were cleared to contest. For the records, there were no disqualifications whatsoever. I mentioned earlier that there were five petitions. The voting committee sat on sale and we cleared the candidates on the guidelines that were provided for us. So there were no disqualifications. Ibrahim Abubakar, TV3 News, Kumasi.